All right, uh, I'm going to give you guys some ab exercises that are all really, really good. Uh, break up the monotony of, you know, not just doing sit-ups like that all the time. And uh, focus on all different parts of your, your uh, abs, different areas, and uh, working on your core in general. Okay? So, uh, the first few involve me being shoulder blades tucked up off the mat, chin tucked. Keep my hands together right here. A good, good position to be in is kind of like as if you were uh, blocking body shots. You don't want to take your hands off your chin. Keep them at your chin, but you keep your elbows low. So that's the position I'm in. I've already engaged my, my abs and I'm already kind of crunching. And that should fill this gap in my lower back just by doing that. Okay, so normally we lay flat on our back, we relax, there's a gap right here. I can stick my hand underneath it. I'm gonna fill that gap, get my shoulder blades and my head up off the ground. I'm gonna straighten my legs. And so right now, my, my legs are what, like three or four inches above the ground. Keep them straight, keep them locked out, and just little kicks. I'm not doing this, and I'm not doing this, because this doesn't do anything. Keep your knees away from your hips, keep your legs straight, breathe the whole time, and kick. Little kicks, nice and slow. You do that for 30 seconds. If you can do it for more than 30 seconds, then that's pretty good. And uh, break that into sets of three. Another variation of that that you can do is this. Same idea, shoulder blades tucked up off the ground, legs straight, little circles. So I go from the inside out, make sure I'm breathing, and then I go from the outside and make sure you're breathing, keeping those legs straight. Another good ab exercise that I like uh, that's uh, more repetition based rather than those, those two which were really time based is, uh, is, is this one. I'm straightening my legs. I'm putting my thumbs right underneath my lower back, like it, you know, above my tailbone, where, where my sacrum is. So my head is like this, underneath my, my body. And I'm not so much worried about not resting my head. A lot of these ones, I don't want to rest my head. I'll keep my head up off the ground, but I don't need to necessarily crunch, because I'm going to do that each time I have a rep. So what I want to do is bring my straight legs directly to the ceiling and back down. It doesn't look like much, it's not a dramatic move, it's not supposed to be. You will feel it if you're doing it right, okay? So legs stay straight and locked out, not bent. And I'm not doing this. This is just me throwing my knees above my head. This isn't really doing that much. What I wanna do is move my legs straight up and down. Not like this but straight up and down, vertical movement, all for my abdominals. So I lift and come back down. Exhale on each push-up, so and down, and down. Um, I would do those, I would start out in reps of like 50, or sorry, sets of 15 or 20, and then move on depending on, on how how good you're feeling with it. You know, pick up the amount of reps if you want. Um, these ones are super fundamental. They are called V-ups. So I'm going to tuck my head, my shoulder blades up off the mat, and I'm gonna straighten out my arms above my head. I lift my legs just to that same position that we were doing with these. And now I'm in this straight board position. And I'm going to start with my legs because they are slower to lift because they're heavier. So I start with my legs and then when my legs get about three quarters of the way up, I reach with my hands and I, I reach in the middle. Come back down. Do not come to here or to here. If you allow your head to drop and touch the mat and you will, or you allow your heels or both, you're, you're giving yourself a rest in between. So even though this is repetition based, from here to here, you are still always engaged. 
So it's about how much time you put into it too. So if you do it slow, it's very effective. So I would say start out with 10 to 15 reps really slow. If you can get through that, then that's great. Make it a set type of thing. So again, legs straight, arms straight, head up off the mat. Start with the legs, reach in the middle. Do not bend the knees at all. Exhale as you come up. Exhale as you come down, or sorry, inhale as you come down. Um, last one I want to show you guys. Well, there's so many different ones, but this is a good one. This one is uh, is good if you got if you got back issues that are bothering you. You've got spasms or inflammation because you can support yourself. And although back back work is really good, um, sometimes you're just injured and it's not happening for you for whatever reason. Your back is in spasm. I put my hands on the mat, okay, and I start here, where I'm kind of folded up like a lawn chair. I'm bringing my knees to my shoulders. I'm going to extend and lean back. And notice my hands are still there to support me, okay? My hands are there to support me. I'm extending and reclining, leaning back. I'm not letting my heels touch the ground. My legs are straight, and then I come and meet my shoulders to my knees. Here, here. So I exhale on this, on this part of the rep. And then I inhale as I bring it in. Ah, do a bunch of them. I don't care. But don't, don't, uh, don't not do it. How's that? All right, that's, uh, that's just a few of the ab exercises that I like. There's like a whole ton more. You can do a variation of the, uh, the V-ups that make it a little bit harder by keeping one leg in this position, not letting the heel touch the ground, and instead of bringing both legs up, just bringing one up and keeping the other one down. Don't let your head touch the ground. Reach in the middle. Don't just raise your arms. Reach in the middle. Reach in the middle. And that's a more advanced way to do the V-ups. But uh, that's it.